You know how you're going to attract enduring, beloved, faithful clients who are devoted to you? By giving them the room to come to you when they need to. Once you've explained what you need to explain to them, you give them the room. You don't try to convince them. You don't try to cloyingly beseech them to buy your stuff. You step away from that. You don't sell so hard, make them feel like they had an encounter with a used car salesman of the most horrific, stereotypic kind. No. Instead of making them feel like they need to take a shower after they get off a conversation with you, why don't you give them some room? Talk honestly. Be gentle. Be pleasant. Be honest and passionate. Be impactful and stylized with a delightful presentational personality. And then give them some room to come to you. Because when they make the decision on their own that you have something cool and you are credible as an authority knowing what you can help them with, when they come to you with having made their own decision, you don't have to sell them. You can give them the space. And that brings me to my second concept here. Because I want to explain to you the difference between a business speaking coach, of which there are many, of which I am none, and a badass performance level presentation coach, of which there are few. And I am one of those few. Now here's the difference between a business speaking coach and a performance coach of experience on the world professional TV shows and stages. What a performance coach can offer someone like me is zero. Nothing. What I can offer them is the world of information on how to create delivery that is truly stylized and impactful and delightful and coupled with massive storytelling of tremendous impact. Because in the world of performance level presentation, it's not about selling. It's about speaking from your soul. And in the world of business speaking coaches, they teach you how to sell this and punch that. And that's a no-no. It's actually a no-no. In the world of trying to get people to come to you, that's a no-no. <laughs> I've said that three times already in this conversation. What I know, what people in my level of expertise understand fundamentally that is different, is that you structure things so that people can come to you. then you don't have to sell. Then you can preach the gospel of you and let them come to you in their own time. That gives people the room. And that changes the conversation from being talked at to being conversed with. That's the difference. And that's why. If this rings true, it's because it is. <laughs>